Hey guys, Crazy Man here with episode 4 of my Terra Firmacraft series. Um, I know last episode I said I'd be exploring those caves, but I looked in there, looked around for a while, got some footage, thought it was all going to be really cool, and then I realized there was nothing in those caves. So I just ran back through, tore up all the torches and everything, and decided I'm not going to show that on camera. It was so boring. It was literally just the dark caves the whole time, and nothing happened. So, I think what we want to do next is probably get a lot more lumber and actually get that thing over there. The trees, or the, uh, the what's it, with the charcoal, yes, charcoal pit working. Because I don't think it is. Yeah, that's not working. That's the opposite of working. They may have changed the way that these work, but in the past you just had to put a bunch of logs there and then cover it up with some solid blocks, light a campfire in it, and boom, you're done. But campfire went out and nothing happened. So, I don't know what's going on there, but we'll figure it out. In fact, I'm going to go look that up right now on the wiki, so be right back. Okay, guys, this is it. Ah, ah, bad, bad, very bad, very bad. Stop it. Um, dirt. No, bad. Very bad. Okay. Yeah, pro tip, don't light it until you've got the dirt in place. Because I just did that, and it was derpy. But you guys know I'm derpy, so all is good. I think I actually need another pile of logs now. Actually, I can just do this. I do need to put dirt down first, then the pile of logs. No, stop eating my logs. Ah, okay. So I need to chop down another tree. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to go chop down a tall tree. This one. Blocks falling out from under me. But, yeah, I just figured out that it was one block more that we needed there than I had so whatever you need you always need one on top of the charcoal pit so you guys that know that were probably yelling at me like crazy man you ah you idiot stop that but you know what I derp sometimes it's who I am okay a good amount of logs and hopefully this will get us a good amount of charcoal because we'll need it to start doing more stuff pretty soon. Boom, boom, and seal it up. There we go. Smoke coming out the top means we finished it. And uh, of course this block will fall once it's done unless it turns into grass which we need to fix that don't we? Now uh, we can just watch the smoke particles. Once those are gone, we're done. And I want to build a better house, because this thing sucks. <laughs> we'll need a lot of wood for that, though, won't we? We've got some pine planks here. Uh, yeah, pine looks okay. You can place it like this, and it's all fancy. There we go. That takes a lot of wood, though. So, alternatively, I can chop this down, get my eight planks back, and do this. Which I think I've shown you already. And let's see, can you turn that back? No. Well, whatever. Pine planks. Can we make a pressure plate? We can. Good. We'll never forget to close our door again. Let's put it on this side. So lever, you go away. Lever can be used to turn on this grass here. Some pressure plate. Now I wonder, can you actually can you actually make stone pressure plates too from the smooth stone you get? Dolomite. No, no stone pressure plates. Oh well. Uh, we've got some basalt here. Uh, we're going to need something if we're going to be doing any amount of work in the future with this copper stuff. Oh, rock salt. That's actually really awesome. I'm going to use Gabbro for this. 
This is how you make a hammer head. Throw that on a stick. Gets us our stone hammer. And hopefully this is the right kind of rock. It is. It's hammer time, guys. This is our stone anvil. We can use it to work copper stuff, and that's it. Copper is the only thing that will work on this. And we're going to need a good amount of copper. Like, a ton. Like, seriously. So, in order to get that, we're going to need to find... Oh, excuse me. The microphone almost fell there. We're going to need a good copper mine. Um, I think I know a way to find that. Uh, out here, we were finding little bits of copper on the surface. I'm going to uh, search the area with the prospector's pick for a while. And hopefully something nice will turn up. And, ooh, is this grain? That would actually be awesome. Oh, it's rice. Yes, that's awesome. 14 ounces there. This is pretty awesome. Uh, this is actually how we're going to be getting straw now. Let's just package all this up here together. There we go. So we've got our 57 ounces of rice and a bunch of rice seeds. And we can process that uh, and get normal straw like that too. But uh, you get a lot of straw, a lot more straw from doing the processing of grains, which I think you just do like this. Don't use me or you will crash. Hmm. That's a scary warning. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what they mean by use, but I'm I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make that stick. Uh yeah. Let's see, I'll just whack the ground every once in a while. I know it was somewhere around here that we were finding tons of copper. Oh, there's a zombie. Does that mean a cave nearby? Because I thought there was a cave somewhere around here. Or did it just get dark enough and they immediately spawned? Because I saw a cave, and I screenshotted the coordinates, and the cave was beautiful. Ooh, bismuthonite. I'll leave that because uh, we have plenty of bismuthonite. And yeah, bismuthonite everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and stack all of these. Hopefully, I've got enough space in the stack for all of it. Good. 125 ounces of rice. Oh my. Scary things. Dangerous things. Let's not go near them. I wish I could find some sheep, because then I could get me a bed. Which would just be beautiful. Because I could sleep away these horrid these horrid scary nights with all the monsters and such. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'll be back in the morning and I'm probably just going to do some digging and maybe find a good cave. Well, probably not a cave. That's not really how terra firma craft works. Ooh, there's some uh, magnetite I think it is. No, that's a uh, that's actually copper ore right there. So, let's just get away from all these things and try to remember where that was. It would be really nice to get some armor. Ooh, here's some more of this. This is copper, right? Galena? Oh, that's silver. Okay, so we found a silver deposit. Silver and dismuthanite. Okay, yeah. I'll be back in, in the daytime when it's not so scary out. Here we go. I was running around and... Let's see, inventory needs to be resorted. I died. No big deal, though. I was able to get to my stuff again. I've got the coordinates saved in a file. But, uh, yes, there we are. This place right here, I found a bunch of little copper nuggets sitting on the ground, so I'm going to mine here. And hopefully, if I do this enough... Nah, it's not that close to the surface. I was hoping it would be close enough to the surface for me to just find it like that, but I guess not. Okay, and then there's going to be a bit of work getting to the stuff. Oh no. Um, let's fix that. There we go. Shovel. And right here. Oh yes, that problem. 
that's unfortunate. It's funny that grass formed that quickly there, yet it's still not forming over that clay back at the house. And this is Gabbro, so I'll keep that on the bar so I can do stuff with it if I need to. And let's see, can I find anything now if I prospect traces of native copper? Awesome. Okay. I need to just keep searching, and this is going to be a lot of slow digging, as you can see. This is like a wooden pickaxe in vanilla Minecraft. It is agonizing. But, all in the name of progress, because these massive ore veins are going to let us just make all of the stuff out of copper. Ooh, we reached diorite. So, I'll be back once I have found the copper, or once I've gotten tired of looking, because honestly, I don't know which will come first. See, still traces. Okay, be back soon. Okay, guys, I seem to have found some copper. I saw this basalt here, and I heard a zombie. I was just digging in circles down here, and I found some basalt, so I dug into it, and there we go. Found native copper. Awesome. Okay, let's try to mine to it. Hopefully there's quite a bit here, because finding ore veins is not easy. I was lucky to have this much durability left on the pick when, it, when I found it. Let's see, what kind of vein is this? Oh, poor. That sucks. Okay, zombie, me and you, we're going to do some battle. Yeah, combat with the knife is blarg. I don't like it. There we go. Wow, rotten flesh. We rich. Okay. It's a poor vein, but whatever. Nothing of interest. Traces of native copper. Well, it looks like this vein got eaten by this thing. We would have gotten a lot more, but... Eh. Whatever. Oh well, we still get some copper. And it's a lot more per item than it is on the other ones. Those other ones had 10 units of copper. These ones have 15. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, unfortunately, it is a poor vein. And it's a very poor vein in size also. Let's see. It's the easiest way to get up there. Gabbro ladder. Stop it. Yes, I know. Stop that. Ah, uh, one more. Gabbro. Thank you. There. <laughs> that was a lot of cobble just to get up there. Is that it? Traces of native copper. Is there more nearby? I sure hope so. If that was it, I'm going to be a very sad panda. Okay, let's keep digging down. I'll see if I find any more. If I don't, well, that sucks, but we've got some. So be back soon. Wow, that was painful. You have no idea how long I've been searching for more of this copper. Ugh, that was a lot of digging. And, of course, the water vent is where we find it. Please let it be more than this. Traces of native copper. Okay. Um, let's fill that up. I don't especially like that being there. And flooding me with stuff. Ah, we're not going to be able to deal with this. Um, we can make some planks. And plug it up with that. Have a plank. Okay, you can't do that. I've got an idea. Dang, so close. Okay, whatever. We'll just deal with it. It's there, and whatever. Let's find more of this stuff. Because we need it. We really need it. Ugh, this is painful. Now we're working in water, too. Okay, uh, here's some more. I do not want to get involved in that, though. 
I don't know. Do I? I don't have torches on me, so I can't do that. I'll just follow the tube down. Okay. Uh, it's just more boring ore mining, so I'll be back once I'm done and have got this all sorted out. Well, guys, I just got out of that cave area, and boy, was that pitiful. I mined out the entire thing to the point where it said nothing of interest found, and boom, 13 poor native copper. That is pitiful. It is like the worst ore vein I have ever found in terra firma craft. So, I'm going to travel over here, and I think earlier I saw and I screenshotted the coordinates of a place where I found a little cave with some ore, but I didn't have a prospector's pick to see what the ore was. So now that I do, I'm going to travel over there and see what we had. So I'll be back, or is this it? Is this it? No, that's not it. I'll be back once I've found that little area and we can see what it was that we found. Okay, we have reached this and found the ore and that took me a couple minutes and then it started raining and I was sad but let's see what this is gypsum Oh, I think that's silver I think gypsum is silver actually no gypsum is one of the useless ones wow that's awesome very large sample of gypsum we find an awesome sample for gypsum but for copper nope you get a poor sample with crappy amounts of ore in it. Ah, oh, that is so angering. Gypsum is completely useless. Uh, uh, terra firma craft hates me. Well, whatever. What can you do? Other than go look for another vein. That's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find another vein. Ooh, a medium sample of bituminous coal. That could be useful if we could find it. You, sir, are going to get axed. Hopefully to death. Oh my gosh, and we got a wrought iron ingot. I can't do anything with that at the moment. And you know what? Nope. Nope. I'm leaving. Not worth it. Not worth it one bit. Too many zombies. Okay, there we go. My weapon broke, and I am, I am out of there. Hopefully we'll be able to get a nice weapon pretty soon, though. I'm thinking about making a mace. Let's see, I think the house is this way from here. I'm just going to mine near the house and see if I find anything good underground. And if not, well, I'll be back. And if this bismuth bronze pick breaks, I can always make another one. It's not too difficult. I just need to throw that stuff in the uh, in the little uh, clay jars I've got here and cook it up. So I'll be back hopefully once we've got some nice ore. And I think I'm just going to do some off-camera mining. And you know what? I might wrap it up here for this episode because I think... I think we've been going for a while. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to wrap it up here. It feels like it's been a while. It's probably just been a lot of off-camera stuff, but yeah. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even if it has been a little short. But we are finding ores, so I'm just going to try to get my hands on a good amount of copper and hopefully some tin and bismuth, too. We've got a nice area to mine for bismuth tonight. I know that because there's tons of mis bismuth night right next to the house. So, yeah, I'm going to mine that up, and I'll show you what I've got at the beginning of the next episode. So see you then. Until then, take it easy.